Hi everyone and welcome back. So this is the simple example we have done in the last video and I'm using one add-on on the Chrome browser that will give you everything you need. You send a request. This is your simple documentation. Okay, I have only single query. Hello. And you can do a click here. This will add that query for you. You don't need to even type anything. And here you can just enter your name and then send this request okay so it is just adding hello and giving you the message back so this is like a query we have written so and this documentation this documentation is like a swagger here it is telling you what all queries you have what all mutations subscription what all different types you need to define okay everything is here and you just need to def uh, you can execute the queries here okay now what we are going to do is let's move to a bit advanced okay here we are creating only a simple uh, graphql server right but we are not going to write this simple hello world example every time what we will do is we will start defining these type definitions type definitions means okay let's say i have written the thread operation of user thread operation for post so there I have a get put post delete operations, but here I don't have all these things, right? So how can I replicate the same kind of scenarios here through the query and mutation? Mutation will create user, create post, update user, update post, delete post, delete user. All these things we can also be able to do with the help of GraphQL. So first of all, this is the type definition, okay? And in this type definitions, we are going to put all the things which we need right so this is the type query before that we will define all the types which we need okay like I have a type user and inside type user I have few things okay I have ID I have name all these parameters you can add name is of type string okay then I have an email which is also of type string and then age let's say this is of type int okay so i have created this as a type you can call it as a model which we are going to expose maybe through query and mutation okay then let's say there is another is a type which is type is post i will not cover more these basic things because these are we already know what all these about so in the post we have a title which is of type string body which is of type string and we have published and which is of type boolean okay now there is a meaning of these types id string boolean object all these are actually types so this is the parent type and these are the types of each and every property that we are defining inside a post and user now query inside query I can have okay let's say get me this can be one query and what it is doing is it is just returning what this query is going to return this query is going to return user type okay then another query I have is post that is going to return the type post okay so this is my type definition now when I look at the resolvers I need to define the resolvers for the query and mutation here currently I have only query but here you can define mutations also and then we need to take care of query and mutation both inside resolvers for now we have these query and query is talking about okay there are two queries this should match okay I have a get me and post so let's say get me which is a function inside a query what it is doing let's uh, return something here so inside a query object we have a get me and get me is just returning a simple object and the object has the same things we have id of type string and we have name and we have email
Okay. What about the email, right? So we have name, email, everything here. So this is my first query here, get me. And then another query I have is a post. So put a comma here. This is my another query post. And this is going to return the data regarding the post. Here in the post, we have all these types, ID, title, body. Okay, ID, title, body, and we have published flag, which is let's say false. Okay, what I did is I created a type definitions and I defined these queries get me and posts here. Okay, now we can restart the server or we can add a watcher which will keep restarting this. So we have post and we have get me. Uh, we just need to take care ID name email. ID name email, these are required things. Age is optional. In the post, all are required. So we have to define all. I mean, you will get an error if you are not returning the required type from there. Okay, now we are, we have extended this example. Now we have multiple types. Let's say, let's reload this. Now we got these two queries, right? Add this to the query. Let me, you can run this. Okay, I got the data, right? And another query I have is post. And this is another query I have and it is giving me the post data, right? The representation is still a JSON object. Inside data I have a post object that is giving me everything. And you can see whenever you are running a query, what we are passing, we are passing the post because post is not taking any argument. If you talk about simple get me, right? That get me is not taking any argument and it is of type query. So we wrapped it inside a query and then get me. Right. There will be a cases where we have to pass the user ID and you have to return the data of selected user. Then the query will be here. You will be passing the argument, but currently it's not matching because this is not according to the stack and you just send it. We will get the data accordingly. Okay. Here we are uh, requesting age, but that's null. But now we are requesting only ID name email. Okay. So this is how we define the type definitions and the resolvers and once the server is started, we can test that through our this uh, GraphQL console. Okay, uh, thanks everyone. Now in the next video, next further videos, we will talk more about the queries, mutations, these types and resolvers because that is all about basics and we are not going to have an integration with the database. Let's say we have the, the collection of users. You create a new user, we will push that into an, an array, you delete, update, all these. We are going to play with just a collection of uh, array objects, okay? And then we will write uh, these queries and mutations.